Hi, Adal. How was the show? Well, it was a it was a live episode. It's been a while. It's live been a episode. while. This was the Portland episode, right? Bridgetown Comedy Festival, tenth year. Nice. And I left in a bunch of the sort of the half-assed me trying to get the quorum going of people's because it was a different kind of live episode. Usually, it's just they play the intro. Yeah. I sit down with the guests. We chat. Right. We sing as a group, right. and then we wrap it up. Right. In this case, the double clicks came and opened because they are local Port Portland dork luminaries. That's right. They Angela and Aubrey yep. Weber, and they have a YouTube page and a Patreon. Right, and, and they they are lovely so people. So much work. They are lovely people, and they're very talented, funny um, singer songwriters. That's right. So they sang like four songs. My favorite current song. Oh, so you you basically had an opening act. Yes. Okay. Yeah, which is why a premium episode with an opening app should be totally worth two bucks, because that's what this is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, because I, uh, so, yeah, this is a premium episode, so it was taped live in Bridgetown right. at the Comedy Festival, and um, so it's over at thedorkforest.bandcamp.com. This will just be us discussing how much we like the double clicks, and then Keith Baker and Jen Ellis. Right. They're game designer duos, game design, yep. uh, design and production duos. Yep, and uh, there's a there's a clip of the show that's free as well. Mm -hmm. That just mm -hmm. like a three or five minute clip, um, them talking about their game and he, he, they love time travel. Oh, and do they? Yes, and he never got a chance to play my time travel game. He didn't get a chance. To, that's time time empire. Yeah. When will time empire come out? We don't know yet. We don't know. We don't that's know. Right. But the journey continues. The journey will continue. And if people want to play test it, find Andy Ashcraft That's and right. Giant Stance Games. That's right. So one day I need to go up to Portland and 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 ping him and say, hey, I would love to get you to play... Time Empire. Time Empire. Yeah, he would really like that, actually. I may send him a copy just to see... Right, he's going to send us a copy of his game. Right, so it because that, that's what that's what game designers do. They send each other copies of their games. We do. We send each other copies of our games in the hopes that they say nice things about us online. Well, maybe that's why people are constantly giving me the, their albums and books. That's exactly why people are all constantly giving you their albums and books. I may not be as savvy as I think <laughs> I am. <laughs> you are an opinion maker. I'm an opinion maker. Me and Rangers of the Dark Forest. It's called. What was it? What did they say? It was called Phoenix Dawn Command. That's right. And it is, we talked about fiasco a lot. Yep. And about how fiasco is essentially a game where you get to play a bad person. Right. You and played then, this on stage. On with the, who? On the cruise with, with, the, with, with the Weber sisters. Did I? Yes. As an event. And, and, uh, and uh, Chelsea Kane. No, not Chelsea Kane. Um, well, Gail Simone? Gail Simone. Oh, was that fiasco? That was fiasco. Oh, well, the Joko crew is clearly a giant blur. Uh, <laughs> well, it was sort of a, a fiasco light because it was, you know, it was it was, it was yeah. done for a 30-minute stage show. Right, because the, the Double Clicks, or I think um, Angela has a podcast about fiasco. Yes. And so it was a live taping of her podcast. Yes. With me and Gail Simone. Right, and you didn't realize you were playing a game. I um I thought it was we were just role playing. You were, which is what a game is. <laughs> which is what a role playing game is. <laughs> well, we all live and learn, don't we? Uh, we were playing fiasco, and you were, and you were playing bad guys. We we're playing bad guys, and you were stealing a diamond or something to start a fire, and you were going to start a fire, and then and then. Oh, all I remember is Gail Simone wanting to sleep with everybody, and and Gail Simone wanted to sleep with everyone. And I was trying to facilitate that. You were a helper in all cases. In all cases, I was like, let's do Even this. Even your villainy is helpful. Even. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we talked about fiasco. <laughs> it sounds interesting. I should play it one day. You well, it turns play. out. It turns out you have. I have. <laughs> and then Phoenix Dawn Command mm. uh, sounds fascinating as well. And he's going to send us a copy. And that sounds Neat. kind of great. And then we talked about time travel. And at one point, and this will be the clip, quite honestly, as he was talking about how his theory of what happened to the dinosaurs, mm -hmm. and he compared it to what happened to the vampires. Mm, okay. That's where he lost me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... Dinosaurs are real. Vampires are not. That's what I kept saying. <laughs> that's what I kept saying. Did you, you were not able to, uh, to just suspend your disbelief? 
No. And Jen Ellis was like, this is his reality. And I was like, well, it's going to make me real weird if he convinces me. <laughs> and uh, so it was that. And it was, and so the, the premium episode is actually an hour and a half because the double clicks played for 20 minutes. Oh, that's great. And they said it, I could put it on the pot. So Fantastico. neat. Yeah. Neat. And, um, and it was, it was really, it was great. And the Bridgetown is so much fun. Yeah. Good. It's the best comedy camp in the world. Oh, that's great. Where you get to just hang out and you just, and then you find out later that a, a dozen comics that you like were there as well, but you never got to see them. Oh. And you're like, oh, well, that, well good for, well, it's actually, it's okay. You're just like, oh, well, that would have been neat. Right. It's just more. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. I mean, they've yeah. been building it up for 10 years, so it's kind of awesome that they, that it's become a thing. It's really become a thing and it was great. And I thought I lost the file right. and I did, I did lose. He put it on a USB stick, the sound guy. This is important to you. Right. Well, that's true. It might be important to nerds. Allow me to dork out about the episode itself. Anyway, it was a great episode, and they were a delight, all four of them. Yay. <laughs>